Hello. I hope you've had a great day so far. I'm Millie, and this is Colette, and we are here today to present about the Sudachi project. So Sudachi is a Japanese word that represents a chick leaving its nest. First, we would like to talk about what we do as a project. We collect furniture and home appliances for children leaving foster homes when they're 18, from teachers and also student families that are getting ready to leave ASIJ and moving on to other countries. We began working on this project this January, and we will be working with two foster homes, and all the items we have been collecting will be donated to the kids graduating from those two foster homes. In addition to that, we have been working with a nonprofit organization called Planet Canal. So our project really emphasizes on teamwork and always having fun. And we're always motivated, imagining the smiles when the children that are graduating the foster homes receive all the items that we have been collecting. Although a lot of the times the items are really, really heavy to carry alone, with a good teammate, it's really nice to just carry it together and it becomes a lot lighter. And similarly, we hope that the, the graduates, when they're leaving, although they face a lot of stresses, we hope that they know that a lot of us are here to support them, and we hope that their stresses become alleviated as well. So um, we have two teacher advisors that work for our club, and um, what we realized is that they provide a lot of freedom for us when it comes to organizing a lot of the events, but they also provide us a net for support. For example, when we approached two foster homes, we really needed someone to like officially make an agreement with a foster home to know that we're officially being supported. So uh, they actually came, they're coming with us to visit the foster homes and we will officially have an agreement with them soon. And other than that, our teacher advisors use their teacher networks and find us uh, teachers that can help drive the truck whenever we go out to do pickups. But other than that, they also work as a member and they help with storage cleanups or going on to pickups as well. And this kind of system really gives motivation for us as students because we know that they're really confident in what we are doing. This is our amazing team and this is when we went to do a pickup. <laughs> so this leads to our overarching question, which is why is this important and why do, does this cause deserve our attention and care? In Japan, there are over 600 foster homes, with 55 located in the Tokyo region. Um, in 2017, there were 27,288 children living within the foster care system. Approximately 2,000 of these children leave the foster care system at 18 every single year, with three to four children per facility. Now, when we approach this problem slash issue in our community, we always thought, why do children live in the foster care system? And our first initial like, idea was that we thought that the children had no parents or that they were orphans. But as this graph shows, the truth is that the number one reason why these children are in the foster care system is due to parents abusing them as well as ch child ne neglect. Now, when these children leave the foster care system, they face both economic and emotional hardships. So these children are allowed to get jobs in their first year of high school. However, they're unable to save enough money from these part-time jobs to be able to sustain themselves economically when they leave when they're 18. Japan offers these children 250,000 yen in grant money, but this is not enough to cover all of their expenses. The first thing that you need to do when you leave, when you leave the foster care system is buy an apartment. The problem is, or rent an apartment, but the problem is, is that the rent fee isn't the only thing that they have to worry about. There's also a deposit, as well as this idea of a guarantor, which I'm sure you guys have heard about. But the problem is, is that these foster children don't have a guarantor because they have nobody to rely on once they leave the system. So they have to pay 400,000 yen as an initial deposit, rent fee, as well as additional sum because they don't have a guarantor to rely on. In addition, they're going to have to pay more than 200,000 yen in furniture and home appliances. In total, this is more than 600,000 yen which is about $6,000 if you guys don't like, you know the yen rate and stuff. <laughs> Not only do these children have to worry about economical problems, but they also are struggling emotionally. And so like, we can't even begin to imagine the emotional hardships they face because this is the first time that they're living on their own without anybody to rely on. So now we're going to be talking about a few of the achievements we've made so far. So before, this was our storage locker right around the school, and we didn't have any 
any items collected. In fact, it was completely vacant. Now we have more than 200 items ranging from you know, sofas, dressers, and other types of furniture, as well as home appliances such as microwaves and rice cookers and all sorts of stuff. We have also expanded our community to 35, more than 35 members and are also working on creating a sustainable club to continue throughout as an ASIJ tradition. We are also working on making sure that our school becomes a bridge with the local community as well as making sure that there's a bridge between the expatriate community and the local Japanese community so that all of us are working together towards this cause. So how can you get involved? The reason why we really wanted to present here today is because we wanted more people to know about our project, but also about the issues that the children living in foster homes face. And I know a lot of you guys here today are from all over the world, so you can't really help us directly with all the local volunteer stuff we do here, but we really hope that you look into more foster home issues in your country because this issue faced in Japan is definitely not something that's only prevalent here, but it's something that can be the same in all over the world, so we hope you look into it as well. And we also have a Facebook page, so it would be really great if you liked that ASIJ Sudachi project, and it should come up right away. Um, so this March, I went to one of the Sudachi ceremonies, and that's where we give the items we've been collecting to the foster home graduates. And this was the first time I met any of the graduates of the foster homes we were supporting. And I was really moved because all the students, not only were they smiling, they were all crying from joy and appreciation. And this moment really, really made me motivated to want to make this project into a success. And I'm so excited to share the happiness and all of that like deep emotions that I felt there. And I'm really excited to share that with the rest of the team and the 35 members that are currently in the Sudachi project. Thank you.